Mark Myers, you are ex Foxton's ex Countrywide, and now you've been running your own agency now since 2011 with a franchise model for the last six or seven years. Uh, one comment you said to me was, "Is would you want to be a valuer for the rest of your life?" So the question is, are valuers in purgatory? Talk to me. <laughs> What a great question. I think that old-fashioned estate agency is, you know, there's a manager, you might be a manager, but you're basically just going to be on that high street um, or burnt out one or the other for the rest of your life. Um, I think that this, uh, the way the world is, um, in, the, in the media and what you can do online is that you could become a valuer, could become a great business owner who could then replace themselves with another valuer who, who is a great business owner and become a great business owner frankly. So I think that the years where we're all stuck in a queue waiting for something to happen, um, if you're not enjoying it, um, then it's worth changing. If you love what you do, then that's absolutely fine. Because you, yeah. you, you went from branch manager at Countrywide to area manager, or whatever they called it then. Did you enjoy the jump? No. <laughs> do you, now, it's interesting that I've spoken to an awful lot of area managers in corporate land, and we, can you remember when you were a value or a manager, you used to look up to your area manager and go, wow, I want that job. It's not fun, is it? A horrible job. No, um, it's a lose-lose job. It's no good. I like dealing with people affecting their lives, and yeah. uh, you can't you can't really do much. But then, does that mean that the branch manager value is going to be in purgatory almost there forever? Can't get out because the next job's awful or they're not good enough. What, what are you recommending they do to make themselves more fulfilled, enjoy themselves, and you know, there's a where potentially earn more money if that's what. Well, this, regardless of this, is the era of personal brand that's it you know personal brand is king so if you're a great valuer then just create your own business on the high street and just get out of uh, the company that you're not happy with okay i know some fantastic estate agents who who don't feel that they can leave the umbrella of their business which they are not happy in and they're some of the best estate agents in the country and they, they feel that they're not good enough um it is a why do you think they feel that way because the probably the value system in the company they're in is broken which means that they're almost undermined as part of the culture within the business. So, but so how, do you, like a, how do you leave a job when you need to put food on your table and pay the mortgage or rent? You walk out. You Brave. Just leave. Yeah. You just leave. And you, you, when you're earning, you save a little bit for a rainy day. So you can just leave. Otherwise, you can't leave. So you have to what, think ahead. You in yeah. So are you saying to someone... Um, probably go without the holiday and go without buying the fancy watch for a couple of years sure. to build a, a nest egg. If you're not happy, then you, if you're not doing anything about it, you're swinging from one monthly income to another and you're not going to find fulfilment at the end of those, uh, okay. that trail. So all. you talk about personal brand. What, what do you mean by that? Do you, think that you, do you think you should start building a personal brand once you've left? I think you should start building a personal brand immediately. So you want your Facebook videos, you want your own website, you want to start learning about building uh, a small um, sort of entrepreneurial um, okay. sort of sort of uh, sort of spin about yourself you want to build yourself in as the town champion uh, which is which is people like Ian White and Stephen Brown always talk about is the and Tom Panos the, the the digital mayor of your town which you always speak about Chris and then just build your persona because then actually when you leave you'll take all of your agency to right. and then I, you can run your own company it's you interesting I've got a very strong opinion about this that that I, I personally hate the phrase personal brand, even though I use it. <laughs> okay, I, I would actually use the word reputation. Reputation uh, is key, but yeah. I think we have to, I live in a world, well, I've it's the same thing. Agree. It's the same thing. In a business world. But, but how do you do that? Well, yes, mm -hmm. you become the local, the digital, digital mayor, which is basically, big, digital means online, mayor means local important person. It's interesting though, that I feel there's a lot of people out there that are falling into the trap of trying to build a, a, a personal brand and that's their focus, their aim. But they're getting caught up on the numbers of likes and mm. shares and and contact. Is is that? A, do you think that's a good measure? Um, personally, I, I I when I look when I look at what I'm doing, I care. But then I actually think about the bigger picture of what I'm trying to do. Okay. I think if I do everything right and I, my business is run with integrity and I'm fully promoting the individuals okay. in my company to be successful. Then if I just got nothing but focus on that, then I'll succeed. I think if I want big numbers t tomorrow, then I I'm going to struggle and I'm going to do the wrong thing in order to get 
outcomes that are just transitory and they just don't last. It's interesting. I, the phrase I would use is don't go to try and build your personal brand because you'll get hit up on the numbers. Go out and be helpful. Be helpful for sure. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. and, yeah. and I'll tell you, there's one thing I've learned is this, is the problem is, is that you never know, you never get feedback. You can, you can never get numbers on that. Because no one will work. I've had people contact me after four years saying I've been watching your videos or posts and now I'd like to do business with you. It, but it's taken me four years to get that. You, you can't buy trust, you have to earn it. And it's hard work, isn't it? I think that, that's why most companies don't don't focus on it, because it's not measurable. Uh, and it's and it's where business has to go. But the thing is, the most important things in life, like relationships, love, uh, friendship, can't be measured by a number. It's trust, trust can't be measured by a number. Um, but trust is... Uh, somebody talking up in the coffee shop. I take I take uh, uh, notes of every time I'm in a coffee shop where I do quite a bit of work, where people are talking about house sale, and and nearly every time in a coffee shop somebody's talking about house sales moving, next door neighbours yeah. moving extension, and and so you just got to try and be inside those conversations, and you you'll never know whether you are or not, but you've got to do all the right things to become somebody. If you do the right thing by being helpful to your, if you're an estate yeah. agent, talking about the local property market, be helpful. Be helpful. Yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll be fine. You just, it doesn't win overnight, does it? It's, it's about integrity and hard work and focus, but it's, it's actually a really easy business. It's like the easiest business in the whole world to do well at, because most of the people that you see need help. Um, you've got the information as a value yeah. to help, we are the um, gatekeepers. It's to... really quite a st straightforward business. And then if you do well and you see the things through that you said you were going to do and you've got a good process, yeah. then you will definitely receive a 1.5% fee. You definitely um, have plenty of time off. Even when you have time off, my clients text me to say, I hope you're having a good time, even though I'm not there. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a great business to be a part of. And um, any valuers who are sort of stuck, they'll probably see problems with integrity around them. And so the first thing to do is to change for yourself to be, and, and the seven habits of highly successful people will give you the basis of the, those things which, which, you know, which we put in place to end up with a brand which, which I think has got powerful integrity, which then promotes people easily. They, they don't spend much on marketing. They, they have very low marketing spends and they make really good incomes. Um, the Bournemouth franchise has run out of uh, David's summer house and he had 33 instructions um, in January. Very good. So. Very good. Um, check out Mark and mine's uh, videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, fascinating stuff, and thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Chris.